Let's continue the Coin Caliper project by configuring the Vision Acquisition Express VI, especially to make sure that the camera settings match those that were used to acquire the sample images upon which the processing script was based. I'm going to pin the Vision and Motion subpalette and then select the Vision Acquisition Express VI. I've recently connected my camera to the My Rio. That's why it appears right here. Let's just do a quick look at the image and see what it finds. And we'll get the one euro coin down there as the sample image. Now I'm going to choose continuous acquisition with inline processing. This default value is fine, and I'll click Next. I need to restore the camera settings that were used to acquire the sample images. In particular, the focus needs to be set to manual, and earlier I had recorded that the value was 27. The contrast needs to be maximized. I'll select that slider and move it all the way up. And the brightness needs to be minimized. Let's do a quick test and see how we're doing. That looks good. The background fades to a nice uniform black, and the coin in the foreground has nice contrast. I'm going to move on from that portion of the dialog and select frame rate as one of the optional indicators to be developed by the Express VI. The Express VI is automatically packaged inside a while loop and a number of default controls and indicators are created. For example, to stop the VI and also to stop the loop and this is where the image is displayed on the output. So this is our image indicator. I'm going to move my stop button down here. Let's see how we're doing. Click the run button. LabVIEW compiles the code, downloads it to MyRio. And at this point we are acquiring live image data from the, the webcam. Earlier I had created that option for a frame rate indicator. Let's go ahead and create an indicator on the front panel. Move frame rate over here. And uh, let me adjust the text string here to indicate that this is frames per second. Go ahead and run that again. Yeah, it looks like we're coming in right at 10 frames per second right now. So that's doing pretty well. That takes care of the acquisition configuration.